Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, teaching the world to make music with BandLab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make amazing trap beats with those syncopated fast hi-hats. Let's do this. One of the most important components that identifies a trap beat is the fast hi-hat and snare patterns. Here's a couple of examples. So let's explore how to create an awesome trap beat in BandLab. Log into BandLab, click Create. Click on Instruments. Change the piano to drum pads. Click on 808 Kit, then on Trap Kit. Audition the 12 sounds. Click on the MIDI editor. Right click in the instrument track and click Create Region. Change the tempo to between 130 beats per minute and 140. Change the length of the empty track to just two bars. Right click on the empty track and select set cycle to selection and play. You can now see the empty cycle is playing two bars from bar one to bar three and then cycling back to the beginning. Click on zoom in on the right hand side of the screen. This makes it bigger and therefore easier to work with. You can drag the MIDI editor nearer the actual instrument track. Once again, this makes it easier to create an amazing beat. The secret to creating these fast and syncopated hi-hats is to change the view settings. So go up to the left hand corner, click on view, hover over grid size and you'll see the options available. It defaults to smart, but let's start with going down to one eighth. What this means is that every bar is divided into eight sections or eight segments. Find the hi-hat and double click on every segment. So that's the first bar and we can only fit eight beats in. It sounds like this. Make sure the metronome is on, which will help you identify where the first beat of the bar is. So let's place a kick drum on the first beat of bar one and bar two. Listen to the beat. Place another kick just after the other one. Listen again. Add some more hi-hats.
trap beats often have two snare drums, one on top of the other. Add the first snare at 1.3 and the second one directly above it. Listen to the beat. Do the same at 2.3. Listen again. Don't forget to save your work from time to time. So now let's look at another trap beat which shows variations on the original beat and includes the unmistakable sound of those fast syncopated hi-hats. I've loaded up an example trap beat called Trap 2 and it's coloured blue. If I double click, there's the MIDI editor and I can see in more detail how the beat is constructed. Let's have a listen. Now you will notice that the hi-hats from bar 2.3 get faster and faster and yet if we change to the red track by clicking on it and attempt to add the faster double speed hi-hats it's not possible. The reason for this is that the grid has been set to 1 8, which means that in one bar we can only divide it into 8 segments. So we need to return to the grid settings and change them to 1 16. Up to view, hover over grid size, 1 16 click. If you look carefully at the grid now, one bar is divided into 16 segments. So I'm going to delete the hi-hats from bar 2 by lassoing them then pressing delete on the keyboard so that I can create that faster hi-hat sound. When I double click now I can add a hi-hat into any of the 16 segments in the bar. That's twice as many, which means that it sounds twice as fast. Let's have a listen. Now, if we look back and listen to the Blue Trap 2 example, we can see that the segments get smaller and hear that the hi-hat's faster. To program this, we once again have to go to view, then grid size, and change it to 132. This divides one bar into 32 segments, and the effect of this is to allow us to now add more hi hats into the same space, which means it will sound faster. So I'm going back to track one, the red track, and I'm going to delete. This section here, sixteenths, and in their place add 132 beats. And for variety's sake, let's miss a beat just to see what it sounds like. A 
Another distinguishing feature of a classic trap beat is the sub bass on the kick drum. And I discovered that the cowbell on the trap kit is in fact a really nice sub bass. So I'm going to duplicate the kick drum rhythm on the cowbell track. To be able to hear this and get the full effect, make sure you're wearing earphones or are listening to really good speakers. You'll not hear the sub bass through your mobile phone speakers, unfortunately. Now that you know how to change the grid size, you can start getting experimental with your own trap beats. Don't be afraid to copy a beat and then just click randomly to see if what you've created sounds good. Here's an example of what I mean. I'm going to move the blue trap 2 to the right, out of the way. And now drag trap 1 onto the trap kit. Let's have a listen. Now let's try a random click approach and don't forget to keep changing the grid size.
I'm grateful to Slobby Boy, who wrote in the comments of one of my videos, I don't know if you've made one, but can you make a trap beat? Now, I'm no expert in trap, but once I researched it, I realised it was possible, and if I could do it, anyone can do it. And that's what I did with the video you've just watched. So if there are any videos that you'd like me to make that would help you to make music with BandLab or any other door, please write in the comments below and request some future videos. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell so that you don't miss another one of these videos in the future. Until the next time, keep making music.